Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your February 2018 tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for your continued support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. For all of those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are here, um, you know, still here, thank you so much. So I'm doing things slightly differently this year, as you can see. Um, and I really hope that you love the new format and the new layout with my trusty board and explanations. Um, you've seen the yearly predictions, I hope, and I hope you're loving them as much as I enjoyed creating them. Uh, really, really all the best. So I would like to call into both of these decks all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I hope that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So... First card for your actions and your interactions with the world at large. Okay. There's one card on the floor that obviously wanted to jump out, and it is the Ace of Cups. What a beautiful card to start on. There's only one other sign that got this as their first card out for their actions and their interactions. And I got really, really gushy when I saw this because... For me, this is, I mean, your actions and your interactions is what you do in the world. And the Ace of Cups represents the power of true love. It represents falling in love. It represents being in love with something, someone. It can also talk about conception. It can, you know, it can talk about finally getting pregnant, for those of you that want that. For those of you that are trying for that, this is the month that you conceive. This is the month that you um, basically start your journey towards becoming a parent to someone or something, because the things that we give birth to or that we hope for or that become our baby aren't necessarily always physical babies. Sometimes it's a project, sometimes it is um, an idea that we have that we give birth to, you know, like, or a painting if you're artistically uh, minded. Um, but the Ace of Cups in your actions and your interactions says that the month of February, you're getting in love with life. You are falling in love with just being here. You are falling in love with your interactions with people. You're falling in love with the world. It's like whatever has jaded you in the past, whatever has given you um, reason to be, to reason to question things or to, you know, be wary or sceptical about anything. This month it's kind of wiped away. Uh, you know, the Ace of Cups is absolute wish fulfilment. It's that thing that you hope for in your heart above and against all other hopes. Um, and the Ace of Cups is when it comes true. It's when it happens for you. So the Ace of Cups in your actions and your interactions says that you're getting in love with life, that you're having zest for life, that you find a, a way to make everything and everyone in your life beautiful. It's like this month you cannot help but be in touch with your ability to love people and to be loved in return. And you'll see in the world and everything through those glasses, through the, the view of, of love and, and being in love with everything and everyone. So really, really exciting card to have actually, especially first out for the entire month because it means that that's going to silently and gently permeate everything just like water does so really really exciting month for you it also represents wish fulfillment as i said so whatever you have hoped for or you have wished for this is the month that you can see it start to really manifest because the other thing about the ace of cups it's not just the conception it also represents the birth of something as well actually something taking place or coming into the world so your money and your materials. Let's see. Okay, so you've got the Wheel of Fortune. How stunning is that? I mean, in your finances sector as well. Like, the Wheel of Fortune represents luck. This big orange guy here represents um, Jupiter. And Jupiter is all to do with luck, philosophy, expansion. It's also protection. Your money is protected this month, Sagittarius. Your pocket, your wealth, your prosperity is protected. It also talks about your... Because your money and your materials is never just your finances. It represents your body, it represents your car, it represents your home. This month you have divine protection. This month you have the ability to generate wealth. This month you have the ability to ask for money or a support or a hand in terms of something material and you have the answer that is going to be an absolute yes. This is the card that it reminds you that when everything take, although everything has to take a dip, everything at some point must wane. That is the cyclic nature of work, of life. 
it also talks about things taking a massive upswing. None of us are exemplified from this, you know, we are all on the wheel of fortune and sometimes when it spins we will be on the top and sometimes when it spins we will hit the bottom. But what it tells you is that it is a cycle and no part of that cycle is forever. So your finances, your health, your home, it's all blessed this month. You have a strong Jupiterian inf uh, influence that kind of, to me, it just kind of says that this is going to be the month that you look back on and say, yeah, do you know what? Things really started to kick off for me. And that's great because it's only February. This is like really early in the year that things start to really manifest for you and go in your in your favour. For those of you that have been waiting on something or somebody to come through, one in specific, you know who you are, lady. Um, I will be in touch soon. Uh, for those of you that have been waiting... This is the month where you start to get the reciprocation or the um, acknowledgement that you need or you desire. Great card for finances because it brings all the luck. So in your communications, this is your communications at a distance. It talks about your, um, you know, your emails, your text messages, your phone calls, letters even. Does anybody still do that? <laughs> um, okay. The hanged man. So this will be a slow month for communication, um, which doesn't surprise me actually, because it's kind of like a lot of this is going to be internal. A lot of this kind of happens because it's already happening. It's already shaping up. It's already happening within your life. The hanged man is the card of enlightenment. It's the card of the Christ consciousness. It talks about our ability to um, to to become enlightened and I see enlightenment as a four four step process and I talk about this all the time when I see this card because it really is that's how I've intuited it I remember having a dream about this card and about the whole thing and I sat one day and I really picked apart what is enlightenment and how does it really happen for us the hanged man as you can see is a guy there and he's hung up by one leg and most people would be like, oh my God, it's kicking, screaming, flailing. But he's not. He's just kind of there. He's got like, not a smile on his face, but he's not unhappy either. And then he's got this sort of Christ-like consciousness glow around his head. And what does that mean? Uh, for those of you that know, the runes are um, a, a Scandinavian sort of influence of fortune telling and magic and you know they're another form of divination effectively and the god Odin hung upside down on a uh, on a tree for three three days um, and that was how he he gained the respect from the universe to be gifted the knowledge of the runes and it was Odin that gave uh, the runic knowledge to to mankind he gave us that the, the knowledge and the wisdom of how to utilize them for magic and how to utilize them for divination and how did he do that? So this is what I see. Um, when you see the hanged man, the reason he's got the Christ consciousness glow is because he's already evolved. He's already become enlightened. And the process that he had to follow to become enlightened was this. He accepted his situation. He didn't kick against it or scream against it or say, why me? It's not fair or any of that. He just accepted it for exactly what it was. In that acceptance, he found some kind of stillness, some kind of peace. And when he was able to be at peace through that acceptance, he then started to understand his situation. When you understand something, you can pick it apart any way that you need to and gain the wisdom from it. Once you have wisdom, you then become enlightened. And that is the four step process that you go through to become enlightened. You accept the situation, you understand the situation. From the understanding, you gain the wisdom and from the wisdom, you then become enlightened. So this kind of says, and the other thing about this card that I love is the tagline that I've given it is, how do you get what you want? You do nothing. Sometimes the best way to get what you want is to sit back and allow it to come to you. Your communications this month, in the month of February, is all about you allowing other people to speak. It's allowing other people to come to you and say, this is why I haven't been here. This is why I haven't been able to support you. Give people their platform. And when you give people their platform to speak, they are very likely to divulge everything that they have to. Because the truth about human beings is we all, at some level and at some point, want to be heard. 
It's one of the things that we crave as human beings and it's one of the things that is really important to us. This card, for that reason, is linked to Neptune and the Christ consciousness. One of the things that Jesus did, um, sorry, I don't know why I did that air quotes, but ignore that. Um, one of the things that Jesus did was listen to people. He took on board how they really felt and allowed them to be exactly who they are. If you follow the Bible, which I don't personally because I believe it's a book of astrotheology, but uh, to give you an example, he allowed every person or every being that he came into contact with to just be who they were and to love them anyway. And there's a real power in that. So your communications and your interactions with people when you're talking to them, um, try to listen to what they're saying behind what they actually say to you. And the reason I say that is because the links to Neptune and Neptune can be a bit nebulous. So this is about kind of hearing what somebody really wants to say to you as opposed to what they're actually saying to you. Sometimes you need to hear what they're saying behind what, you're, uh, behind what they're, they're talking about. Okay, so your heart and your heart. This is your emotions and your love. Um, and it can also be your family interactions as well. The Knight of Pentacles. So for those of you that are single... This is you meeting up with somebody. Why do I say that? Because the Knight of Pentacles is a mode of transportation. It's usually a car, a 4x4, four four, it could be a bike, it could be a horse and cart even. Uh, this is you going on some sort of short journey. This is you going to meet somebody, going to have some kind of interaction. Um, now, the Knight of Pentacles, for those of you that are already coupled and in relationships, talks about you taking a road trip together, saying to your partner spontaneously, let's go somewhere, you know what, I want to go here, come with me. And getting out of your immediate environment will switch things up and shake them up, and it will give you both a different and a fresh, fresh perspective, which is really exciting because sometimes it's that that shakes things up and deepens the bond between you. For those of you that are single, this is you meeting that person, but not um, like the first initial meeting. This is you actually physically going to see them. So if you've been talking for quite some time, this is you actually going now on the first date, and that's really exciting. In terms of your family commitment in your interactions don't be surprised if people come to you and start just talking to you and telling you things and saying look you know what I want your attention I need your time why do I say that because this spread allows me to read the cards separately and then it allows me to combine them as well so your um, actions and your finances this is you know I said falling in love with things but then it also gives you ideas of how to generate wealth and because you're coming from a place of love you're tapped into source creation when you're tapped into source creation you have this ability to manifest things because you're already in a state of gratitude what is gratitude effectively at base level gratitude is love it's that thank you that comes from the heart and if you're living that you become a massive money magnet. Your finances and your communications, uh, be careful, because like I said, this is, you know, your communications are blessed, and this is you hearing people out, but like I said, listen intently to what is actually being said to you behind the words that somebody is using because of the Neptune aspect of this card. But for the most part, it's about letting things come to you. Uh, then your communications and your um, heartfelt interactions, this talks about you you know, taking somebody on a journey or taking a journey to go and meet somebody, which is really exciting. And then for your emotions and your actions together, you know, whatever journey you take is blessed and you find some sort of um, reason to enjoy it beyond what you went for. Um, that's kind of the, the, the most information that I'm getting from that. Uh, that conjunction. But really, it looks like a great month for you, actually. Um, and in terms of your key for the month, this is like some extra information that comes through. Your key for the month is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So you have a double hit of the Wheel of Fortune energy here. And actually, I think this is the first time this has happened in all of the Zodiac readings that I've done for February. So you have a double hit of the Wheel of Fortune energy. This is going to be a very lucky month for you. 
It's going to be a month where things really take off for you. It's going to be a month where you are in love with life in the best way, shape or form. Um, and because you're going to be seeing things through this kind of lovely, gushy way of seeing the world, it could leave you open to some unscrupulous sort of characters. But the beauty of the double hit of the Jupiterian energy means that you're protected from that. It means, because Jupiter isn't just luck, expansion, growth and all of the rest of it and philosophy. Jupiter is actually all about healing and protection as well. Um, you have a double hit of the Wheel of Fortune energy. So you're like, oh, in love with life and seeing everything through rose-tinted glasses. And Jupiter is there saying, you know what, this person is of pure intent this month and I'm looking after them. And what's the beauty of that even more so? As a Sagittarius, what is your ruling planet? Jupiter! amazing absolutely amazing so uh yeah and actually as as a sagittarius i believe that jupiter is now in your 12th house which means that you have a divine protection because the 12th house is all about the unseen um, remain fair with people remain open and remain loving and kind and fair and jupiter will protect you to no end this is a great month for you I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. Thank you so much for all of your continued support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. For those of you that have donated to the channel, we're eternally grateful. Thank you so much. Have a great month and I will see you soon.